Shots fired, people evacuated, and a standoff. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Shannon Heggie. Warren police say it was a chaotic morning in this small neighborhood. The alleged suspect, 44-year-old Silvio D'Amico, arraigned on three charges, including a felony. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer was on the scene this morning and sat in the courtroom this afternoon. Brittany joins us now live from Providence District Court with the latest. Brittany. Well, Mike Shannon, Warren police say Silvio D'Amico was shooting a BB gun at a door with a 28 year old man on the other side. The two both live at the Warren Avenue residence. Just about two hours ago, the 44 year old was arraigned here at Providence District Court, where through his body language, it was clear to see he didn't agree with what the prosecutors say happened. Please don't hold me on that. Silvio D'Amico's pleas to the judge go unanswered. He was not in the house. Okay, five, help without bail, five minutes Superior Court. Thank you, we're all set. The 44 year old is facing three charges, including a felony for possession of a firearm by a person convicted of a crime of violence. But through several raised arms, head shakes, and outbursts, D'Amico made it clear he doesn't agree with the charges. I held position until the state police tactical team was contacted. Police responded to the Warren Avenue home around 6.30 a.m. after a woman called saying her 28-year-old son was in his bedroom being shot at. It was a wake-up call Katie Carvalho wasn't expecting, as well as a door knock and what she saw outside. There was a policeman with an AR-15 pointed directly across the street. An officer then told the three-day newlywed and her one-year-old daughter they needed to evacuate. Carvalho protected by an officer in shield, but as a mother giving extra protection to her baby. Police officer um, on our left kind of angled more at the house, and I just kind of had her on my hip, and we just ran. So you were kind of shielding her on the other side. Yeah. So shield, police officer, you <laughs> and then baby. Yes. Officers were able to safely remove the son, but attempts to contact D'Amico were unsuccessful. Neighbors tell me they heard negotiators asking him to leave, but it would be hours before he was ultimately arrested and put in the back of a police cruiser. Nearby residents forced to evacuate tell me it was a frightening situation to wake up to and one they hope to forget. It was very unexpected and uh, visibly shaking and a little upset, uh, so hopefully it's not going to be something that sticks too long. Definitely got my heart racing. Um, it took me a while to kind of settle in, the adrenaline kind of pumping through. I had to call out of work. And again, D'Amico was held without bail and is due back in court here on Friday. Now, Rhode Island court records reveal D'Amico has faced several other felony charges from around a decade ago, including possession of a firearm during a violent crime. For now, live in Providence, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News. First tonight, a man blamed for a situation that brought scores of police to a Warren neighborhood this morning is facing multiple charges. People living next door here were evacuated as a precaution this afternoon. The suspect appeared in court and had plenty to say. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer joins us now live with what she's learned. Brittany. Well, Mike Shannon, Warren police tell me Silvio D'Amico was shooting the BB gun at a 28 year old through the door that he was behind. Now, the 44 year old just a few hours ago appeared in court here where he was visibly disagreeing with what the prosecution had to say. So you have a number of charges here today. First, you have Silvio D'Amico distressed during his arraignment as he faces charges that rocked a quaint Warren neighborhood. Please don't hold me on that. Um, if I go to prison, back to jail, I'm going to lose everything I worked so hard for. The 44 year old is charged with possession of a firearm by a person convicted of a crime of violence, firing in a compact area, and domestic disorderly conduct. But D'Amico speaking loud and clear through his body language, he doesn't agree with the charges or reading of police details. Reporting that a male party was shooting a BB gun at her son inside of the residence. Police say they received a 911 call around 6.30 a.m. from a resident saying her 28-year-old son was in the first floor bedroom being shot at. Officers were able to safely remove this son, but attempts to contact D'Amico were unsuccessful. That's when several nearby homes were evacuated. We had a knock and we were literally escorted out with a big shield. Uh, it was very unexpected and uh, visibly shaking and a little upset. Police officer um, on our left kind of angled more at the house and I just kind of had her on my hip and we just ran. A couple hours later of trying to negotiate with him, D'Amico was eventually taken into custody without incident. 12 News first on scene captured this video of the 44 year old being put in the back of a cruiser. Okay. He was not in the house. Okay, five, help without bail, five minutes Superior Court. Thank you, we're all set. 
And as you just heard, D'Amico was speaking over the judge as he was ordered to be held without bail. He is due back at Superior Court here on Friday. Live in Providence, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.